AP, which traits or capabilities of a player like Asar Thompson made you in the front office choose him over a player like Cameron Whitmore? Well, I mean, we have to be honest. To sit up here and pretend that it was an Asar Thompson versus Cam Whitmore discussion, that would be us lying to y'all. Um, when you have a draft situation or draft war room, there's a collective of prospects that you do your evaluations on and you talk amongst your staff. So there's about six, seven guys for each slot unless you're at the top two in this particular draft class. So it wasn't between those two guys, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, Asar stood out with his on-ball defense and the potential he had on the defensive side of the basketball, his playmaking on the offensive side of the basketball, and the potential in his jump shot. And we felt like those three key components would do well um, next to a guy like LaMelo Ball, somebody who can be a secondary playmaker or a lead playmaker when LaMelo isn't on the floor or if LaMelo wants to have an, a more of aggressive offensive approach. And then to be able to have a wing stopper potentially at some point is very crucial in a league where teams have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown on the floor like we just saw the other night. So those are the you know combinations of tools and you know the potential that we looked at and we thought was best for our team. Every other prospect, we wish them well. And to sit up here and, you know, try to down talk any of them, I think will be crazy for us because they all have upside and potential. But a SAR fit what we had here personally for us. Mike K with Buzz Don't Stop Podcast. Mike. How do you plan to manage the seasonal up and downs young teams go through with such a long season ahead? And can we expect more minutes for Bryce McGowan's in the future? Well, I mean, we're going to manage the up and downs with the mindset that every loss is a lesson. There's something to learn in every single loss. Um, no matter what team you are. Up and downs is something that every team is going to go through, whether you're an experienced team with a roster full of vets, whether you're a young team, whether you have a combination of both. Because it's such a long, brutal season of 82 games being played across so many months, you have back-to-backs, long road trips, you know, West Coast trips or whatever, it's going to be up and downs. That's just a part of the reality of basketball. And we're going to lean on learning from any of those losses and just maintaining an even keel mindset, whether we're on a losing streak, win streak. We have to understand that it's a long season and you're only as good or defined by your most recent game. Whether it's a loss win, you win by 30, you lose by 20. It's just one night. The best thing about the NBA is the very next day or the next day after that. You get to remodel yourself and rebrand yourself that fast. So we're going to keep that in mind no matter what way the ball is going for us. And as far as Bryce, he's an intriguing young talent. Um, and we're going to put him in situations like a saw where he can thrive and develop. And we're going to trust our developmental system to get all of these guys to be ready. Because, you know, like I said, 82-game season, injuries, suspensions, uh, guys not having their best nights. Everybody has to be ready to be called on, including Bryce. So we're looking forward to seeing his growth this season and him being a part of us having a winning team this year. Pierre, do you plan to keep Asar Thompson as a spark plug off the bench for the rest of the season, or do you want to slowly integrate him into the starting role? Well, we're going to take it game by game. I mean, right now, like I said earlier, what's working for us is working for us. And until it isn't, we'll make our, our proper changes. When it ain't broke, you don't fix it. Asar is in a position where he's thriving and the role that he's thriving in, and it's our job to keep him thriving. So I think it's too much on a rookie to just be jumping and throwing. him. He's overexceeding, so now we put him in a starting lineup. Then he may be too much for him to handle, and he may go through a little slump, which every young player is going to go through. And now what do we do? Demote him and bring him on the bench? It's just keeping him in a situation where, again, we stay even keel. We're here for him, and we're rooting for him when he's going good. It's going to have to be the same approach when things are going bad. He's a young player, a teenage guy, and that's just the inevitable that's happened. Unless you're LeBron James, you're going to have some ups and downs throughout your rookie, sophomore campaigns, and we're going to just continue to be there to support him. And like I said, I can't say it enough, put him in position to be the best version of himself to reach his fullest potential for this team. Thank you. That's all I got, man. Y'all drive me crazy with these Asar questions. All right, y'all, so here we are. We're 3-0 to start the season. First week of the season, undefeated. Feels really, really good. If y'all can look at the bottom left, you'll see we're 3-0. and We have a chemistry of 55%. We definitely wish that was a little higher, but I am definitely understanding that we're a newly acquired, put-together team. A lot of new faces on our roster. 
Plus, we got some rookies that we brought in. So I expect that chemistry to go up. It will take a little time, but we definitely want to see that get to the 70s. And I think we'll be uh, even better. And then you see fan interest is at 100%. So right now, we have all of the attention in the Charlotte community with all of the winning we're doing. So that is really, really, really good. And the profit is in the negatives. When we get to the playoffs, we start to you know have more jersey sales and everything. We'll get that into the green in no time. Before I started this, though, I did do the event generator and the event generator told me to go to a team, which the team ended up being the Indiana Pacers. And we have to go throughout their team and we have to find somebody who has an expressive attitude. And they have, OK, so Halliburton, their top three players aren't expressive, but Jairus Walker out of Houston, they're a rookie. I have to sit him out for 30 days because what happened in this event, they had a tough loss. He punched a wall, and now he's out with a broken fist, broken hand, or whatever you want to call it, for 30 days. So that's the newest loop into the uh, <laughs> into the season from the event generator. So we're going to say broken – is there like a broken hand? Left broken hand. He's out for 30 days, and just like that, Another storyline is added into our season, so we'll keep an eye on um, that situation going out there in Indiana. And have they been losing? Let's see if they really do have a little. They're undefeated, but we're going to pretend that he pissed was pissed off. Um, anyway, we're playing the New York Knicks. We're on the road. We're in the Madison Square Garden. We're going to start simcasting just so we can get through the season. I'm definitely going to jump in, though. If there's anything that ain't going our way, we're going to take it real slow because I don't know what this Knicks team is going to be looking like. Without Julius Randle, hopefully I don't have to jump in. That's always my hope. And right now, we creeping back in. We retake the lead. If we can build some separation, I'll be a very happy man. Very tight here in Madison Square Garden. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Last four minutes. Nobody has scored in this entire minute. Very good defense. We keeping that separation. Six-point lead. Last two minutes, last two minutes, did we pull it off? It looked like we got the job done, ladies and gents. We got the job done. 109-103, six-point win in Madison Square Garden. Uh, LaMelo Ball, 22-6-8, only two turnovers, 8-15 of 15 from the field, 2-8 of eight from three, four, five from the free throw line. We like it, we like it, we like it. Um, Dylan Brooks, 16 points, four steals. That's exactly what we want from him. One of four from three. He has to get that three ball to start falling. Gordon Hayward making the most of his minutes. 15 points in 18 minutes is the exact production we're looking for from Mike Conley and Gordon Hayward on a lot of these nights. Um, Jeremy Grant, not the best scoring night. He only took nine shots for whatever reason. And then a y'all fan favorite, Asar, went three of 10, two of eight from three. He's been aggressive with the three-point shot. And how did my bigs do? Mark Williams, eight points, 10 rebounds, uh, two blocks. Mark Williams just refuses to get the two points to get the double-double. He refuses. He's always just going to have eight and 10 instead of, you know, the 10 and 10. R.J. Barrett gave us 32 points. Quickly, Lonnie Walker. Brunson didn't really do much. 0 for 4 from three, 2 of 4 from the free throw line. And, yeah, we took advantage of them not having Julius Randle. So we're happy with that. Um, our next opponent, godly, I'm probably definitely going to have to jump into this game. We on the road against the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know what that trade even was. Hornets receive. No, Hornets aren't doing any trades right now. Pelicans receive a 2028 first round pick from the Mavericks and Maxi Kleber for Larry Nance. I want to say no. I think it's too early for any Pelicans trades because they have a really, really good team. Um, let's see how we do. So early on, we fighting back. I love that about our team. We fight, we fight, we retake the lead. Uh oh, we blowing out, we blowing out Milwaukee. We blowing out Milwaukee. We blowing out Milwaukee in Milwaukee. Let's go. We let them come back a little bit in the fourth quarter. They won by eight points. But damn that second quarter, 36 to 11. We won that second quarter by 25 points. 25 points, man. Asar Thompson expects to play against the Heat despite right, right thigh cramps. So our young player, we got to talk to our nutritionist and our nutrition um, staff because he's probably not getting enough fluids. He's probably still eating fast food, Wendy's, McDonald's, um, all that type of stuff out, out there. 
we got to make sure he has a proper diet, getting a proper amount of rest, and taking care of his body because we're going to need the young the young man. Um, Dylan Brooks, 28 points, 4 of 6 from 3. That's the exact type of shooting we need. Shoot six threes per game if you want, Dylan Brooks. And he has two steals. We don't need no rebounding. We don't need no assists. Defend, take care of the basketball, and shoot the ball. 24 shot attempts is very, very wild, especially when you see LaMelo at 12. So he had double the shot attempts of LaMelo. Uh, we'll let it slide today because we won. We needed it. Uh, but 22, 6, and 8 from the Mellow, three steals, only three turnovers. He's kind of playing that role of doing a little bit of everything while also giving us scoring input. Nine shots again from Jeremy Grant. We're going to need to get his shots up. He cannot be too relaxed and too lean um, of a personality in our locker room and on our team where he's like, oh, Dylan Brooks, you just shoot. I'll just sit in the corner. Like, nah, he needs to be aggressive. Uh, 10 and 5 from Oubre, 50% for the field. We'll take it. P.J. Washington, 9 and 2. I don't know, 2 of 8. All of his shots were threes. Um, Asar Thompson, 8 points, 9 rebounds. Uh, perfect from the field. And then Nick Richards, 8 and 7. Where's Mark? Mark, 5 and 10. He's just not going to get those 10 points. He's not going to get those 10 points. 5 and 6 with only 2 turnovers for Mike Conley. 11 shot attempts. 1 of 7 from 3 I don't like. We might have to go in and make some adjustments if we continue to see this trend of random guys shooting the ball more than Jeremy Grant. I have a problem with that. But 6-0, I mean 5-0, 62 team chemistry. Y'all see I'm not doing anything. There is nothing that I can do to, to, to change anything. We're just rocking and we roll. And I want to take a look at the roster, see who's going up. Asar Times. Okay, with a whole team in the green. The whole entire team is in the green. This is what happened when you win. Asar will be in the green, too, if he wasn't out or hurt day to day. We thriving. We thriving. I want to see the attitudes and what everybody got to say. Um, LaMelo, I am exhilarated with the way things are going right now. Everything's been clicking lately. It's awesome. I don't think LaMelo has probably ever used the word exhilarated, but we'll take it. I feel thrilled. I'm elated with how things are, are going. I'm having a great time. We put together a great stretch. Yes, I'm thrilled. I'm feeling joyous about how things are going. I've been real proud of the guys lately. True veteran from Mike Conley. Um, I am overjoyed with the current situation. Everything's been clicking lately. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, I feel 100% involved in the offense. You go, Gordon Hayward. I'm feeling thrilled. I feel great about my level of involvement. Yeah, you're going two for eight, motherfucker. You're jacking up shots. You should feel good about your involvement. You're just jacking. I feel upbeat with how things are going. We're playing just awesome out there. I love it. I feel enthused about the way things are going right now. I'm having a great time. Put together a great stretch. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Okay, everybody's saying the same shit. I feel tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Thanks for asking. Um, even the guys that ain't playing, they feeling good. And then Trayvon Brazil, he's unsettled because he's in a G League, because we're prioritizing his development. He feels a way. Same thing with Tyrese Proctor. 2K has to fix that in the engine. When you send somebody down to the G League, they just pissed off. Just not how it works. It's not how it works. You got to go down there, man. It was expected. When they got drafted, they should have known that they were going to play in the G League. Back home. Against a tough, tough Miami team. I want to take a look at the stands. Is, our, is Miami tough? Am I just giving them credit for what they usually do? Yeah, Miami is 3-1. and one. We're the only – oh, no, we're not the only undefeated team. The Pacers are still undefeated, even though uh, Jairus Walker punched the wall. So that means they're never going to lose. Because we put out that narrative of they lost and he punched the wall, they're just not going to lose. They're just going to stay undefeated so that, that our narrative doesn't fit what they got going on. Um, out West – or these are all the teams – there is one undefeated team, two undefeated teams. So us and the Pacers are the only undefeated teams left in the NBA. I want to know what's going on out west, though. Out west, Portland is thriving. Damian Lillard must be an MVP candidate because look at this damn roster. Look at this damn roster. This roster is atrocious, but they're winning games. They're winning games. Schedule, they are. They beat the Warriors. Dame had 37. They beat the Suns. Dame had 40. Uh, A.J. Griffin had 29 in their loss to the Hawks. The Rockets are winning games. The Rockets beat the Thunder twice. They beat the Pelicans. They lost to the Pacers. Um, and in all of the games they won, nobody's the highest scorer from their team. Giddy is the highest scorer. Shea is the highest scorer. Halliburton, Zion, Beal. Nobody from the Rockets is scoring at the highest, but they are winning games. So they must be doing it from a team effort. Minnesota's winning. Is there anybody just, just – out of Phoenix, Kevin Durant is hurt, y'all. Kevin Durant is hurt. He's hurt. Um, I saw this earlier when I was scrolling through the rosters. Kevin Durant is out, and that is affecting Phoenix. And now the dark cloud that was once following the Nets is here following the Phoenix Suns. So we got to start looking at Kevin Durant and his legacy because where he goes, 
Trouble follows. The Clippers are two and three, and they still have Kawhi and Paul George. Kawhi is hurt. Wow. Kawhi is hurt. Kawhi is hurt. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. We're gonna have to keep an eye on some of these situations. And then out east, I want to take a deeper look out east. Um, Atlanta's up there with us. They are thriving. Who did they lose to? Who did they lose to? The Rockets, right? No. They beat the Blazers. They lost to the Celtics by three. Jalen Brown, 34. Look, Trey Young, 35. DeJounte, 40. Nick Smith Jr. had 31 against them. Okay. Chris Murray. I mean, no, Keegan Murray had 33. And the Kings, we gave the Knicks. They only lost. Okay. So, I just want to check the temperature out here in East. The East looks a lot tougher than the West. I'm not going to lie. Looks like real competition out here. So, Miami is 3-1. and one. We on the home floor. The Timberwolves are offering a 2024 first-round pick, lottery protected, and Amari Bailey to the Pacers for Terry Rozier. I wish they told me who was offering who because they're just showing me the trade. So the Pacers would get Terry Rozier. The Timberwolves would get a 2020. I'm going to say no because the Timberwolves are thriving. They're rolling, and I think um, think Terry Rozier is a part of it. He's a starting point guard. Um we we need to beat up on the Heat. If we just did what we did to the Bucks, there's no reason why we can't do what we do to the Heat. And it looks like that's carrying over. Do not let them back into this game, y'all. Do not let them back into the game. It's a blowout. It's a blowout. It's a blowout. It's a blowout. It was a blowout, but we let them come back. They won the third quarter, the fourth quarter by 14 points. That's something to keep an eye on, y'all. It's two games in a row, maybe even the other games I want paying attention, where we collapse. In the fourth quarter, the Bucks did the same thing where they destroyed us in the fourth and we only won because we dominated early quarters. We have to be a better team at closing out the game. We lost the fourth quarter by 14 points. That is unacceptable at home. LaMelo Ball, this is the type of performances we need from him. 33-5, 13, three steals, four turnovers, 11 of 16. This dude is going to be an MVP candidate if he can shoot the ball. It's efficient while doing the other things around the team. Dylan Brooks with another breakout game. 23 shot attempts, leading us in shot attempts again. Um, I, I'm fine with it if he's giving us this many points. Jeremy Grant finally burst out of the, I'm not going to take any shots. He took 19 shots. Four turnovers is too many for him to be giving us two assists. 25-7-2-2. I like it. Mark Williams, 10 points, but this time he doesn't get the 10 rebounds. Um, P.J. Washington gave us 10 points with no rebounds. He's just out there just vibing, just shooting the ball and just vibing. Like, uh, man, Mike Conley uh, struggled from the field again. Only one assist to one turnover. Gordon Hayward, 9-3-3 and three and three in 17 minutes. He's been an ultimate vet. Kelly Oubre, only one shot attempt in 31 minutes. Okay, odd. Uh, Sar 2-5, 1-0-3. Again, y'all was hitting my line all about the Sar performances, and now he's kind of been just uh, – but he's coming off an injury, the cramps. So we're going to give him a little bit of a – a little bit of a pass. We're 6-0 and no still. Um, I want to look at the league leaders. I'm just curious because of the performances we've been getting from LaMelo. What are the league leaders looking like? So at points per game, Anthony Edwards has given them 38 points per game. Amazing. Amazing. John Morant, 35. LeBron, 34 at 38. 32, 30. Um, damn, where's Luka? Luca 28, 8, 9. He's just chilling with Kyrie there. And is LaMelo in anywhere in the top half of the league? Paulo giving him 26. Uh, Scoot Henderson averaging 26 as a rookie. Wow. And there's LaMelo. LaMelo is in the top 20 of scoring. Uh, where is he in assists? He's going to be top six in assists. So he's top 20 in scoring, top six in assists, rebounding for guards. He is top four. Three and rebounding for guards right above his brother. And in his splits, LaMelo is shooting 59% from the field, which is leading almost all guard. He's second behind Chris Paul, the efficiency master. And he's shooting almost 50% from three on seven attempts. So he's 50, 40, and he's not 90. 82%. Damn, almost 50, 40, 90 for LaMelo. Incredible stuff, man. A war races. A war races. A war races. A war races isn't ready yet. I love to check on the war races. They lucky because LaMelo would definitely probably be at the top of that. So we still undefeated. We're going to try to get through get through November here maybe. Maybe get through November. 
Um, can we enter the first two weeks without a loss? We on back on the road, another road trip, another tough team. The Grizzlies ain't no joke. We just saw John ja Moran, one of the top scorers in the NBA. I think we got this one, y'all. I think we got this one. I just want to keep an eye on this fourth quarter. We closed out the fourth quarter. We we won the fourth quarter. We won the fourth quarter. Thank you. We won by 24 points, partly due because we won the fourth. We won every quarter in this game. Tonight, win is our seventh straight. Show your support, fans. We want to hear you next game. Let's do this. LaMelo Ball with another 30-point performance, 35, 8, 5 steals, 0 fucking turnovers. 30 points, 8 assists, 5 steals, 10 of 18, 0 turnovers, man. He fouled out, though, but 0 turnovers. 0. Plus minus of 21. Dylan Brooks, again, 29 points, man. Dylan Brooks is playing like a most improved player. He might have been the biggest pickup we got. Jeremy Grant, 50% from the field, 16, 4, and 6, 3 steals and a block, not bad. Kelly Oubre, 13 points, 5 of 8. P.J. Washington, thank you for rebounding the ball, but why do you have four turnovers with one assist? He's having the ball too much in his hand. Still a, a okay game from him. Gordon Hayward, 9, 2, 1, 1. Um, Mike Conley, 8 points, no assists, 5 turnovers. 5-5-3 five, five, from the Rook. I'm not liking these turnovers from Mike Conley with the lack of assists that he's given us. One of the few players on the team that had a negative plus minus. So two weeks into the season, we are 7-0. and The team chemistry still is below 70. I think at this point, 7-0, and we have to be thriving. Um, NBA standards, we have to be the only undefeated team. No, we're not. The Pacers are still undefeated, even without the rookie. Damn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Miami lost a few after they lost to us. Um, we coming off playing one of the top scorers in the league, and John Moran, I think he was the second in scoring. Now we're playing the number one scorer in the NBA um, and Anthony Edwards. Real quick, two weeks throughout the season, team stats. Where are the team stats? I want to see the team stats. How do we stack up a points allowed? We're the best defense in the NBA right now. We are the best defense in the NBA right now. Look at the gap. The second best defense is the Timberwolves, who are about to play. They give up 111. We only allow, allow one-on-one. There's a 10-point differential right there. 10.8 differential. Shit. Point differential. We right behind the horn, uh, Pacers in that situation. Points per game. We're playing like the opposite of a Mike D'Antoni team. We're top 20 in points per game. Top 20. Um, but defensively, we're number one in, in points allowed. I wish they had efficiency. That would be a very good uh, good thing to have in the game. Um, what do we rank with three-point shooting? Just out of curiosity, we are top 10 in three-point shooter, almost a 40% three-point shooting team. The Mavericks are just on fire with Luka and Kyrie. Free throw attempts. We are, it looks like we middle of the pack when it comes to getting to the free throw line. We're average, we're 20th. We're below average free throw percentage. And we're a top 10 free throw shooting team. Offensive rebounds. We are middle of the pack again. Yep, we're we're right a slightly above average at 11 offensive rebounds per game. Defensive rebounds. We are the top rebounding team. Shout out to Mark Williams. Shout out to Nick Richards. Shout out to LaMelo. Shout out to Jeremy Grant. We rebound a hell of a game uh, from a defensive side uh, perspective and overall. We are not the highest assist team. Right there, almost average. Steals. Do we lead the league in steals? We lead the league in steals. We, def we defensive as hell. Mike D'Antoni switched up his philosophy. Mike D'Antoni switched up his philosophy even though we don't get blocks we do not have shot blockers and when it comes to turnovers we are top five we don't turn the ball over we rebound the basketball we take and make threes points off of turnovers we're second in nba second chance points we are eighth so we top 10 top five and a lot of these things man bench points we don't have the best scoring bench we're in the bottom half. We're below average in bench points. That's fine. I like it, man. I like it. We, th we thriving. We thriving. The Heat receive 
Clint Capella and the Hawks receive Duncan Robinson. Just a straight up trade. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Y'all see the profit going up. The profit going up. That negative was seven. It's like six five now. It's like six five now. Come on. Come on, y'all. Keep it up. We lock, we come in people house and we lock shit up. We coming back. We coming back. We resilient. We resilient. We fight through adversity. We resilient. We fight through adversity. We resilient. They coming back. They win in the fourth quarter by 10. This is our issue. Come on. We got to win this quarter, y'all. Don't let them. Don't let them win this quarter. I got to jump in. They win in this quarter by 14 points. This is an issue for us. This is an issue for us. First things we got to look at always is the game box score. So Anthony Edwards is doing his thing. One of the top score, the top score in the NBA for a reason. 34 points there. Uh, Terry Rozier, 19. Where's Cat? Cat, where's Cat? Where's Cat? Cat ain't playing. In case Cat hurt, Carlton Towns is not in the game. He hasn't played in the game. He might be hurt. Uh, Rudy, 12 and 11. No blocks. And Kyle Anderson is doing his thing with two blocks. And for us, Jeremy Grant is leading us in scoring. Dylan Brooks is having a typical game. Gordon Hayward is doing his thing. Gordon Hayward is having a great, amazing game. Is there anyone fouled out? LaMelo Ball is having a very, very tough time staying out of foul trouble. 22-7 and 10, five turnovers, six fouls. He's fouled out. Dylan Brooks is fouled out. So my backcourt is just two hacking-ass people. They just hacking their asses off in the backcourt. So we without Dylan Brooks and LaMelo, which is probably why we're struggling to close games because LaMelo's ass is probably fouled out and can't close the game. Our best player probably isn't there. That makes a lot more sense for me. That makes a lot more sense. So Jeremy Grant is going to be on the floor. I need to be playing him. I need to be playing Gordon Hayward. And Mike Conley should stay. Asar is not having the best game. Kelly Oubre is playing really, really well. So... And eight seven two. Okay, so I need to make sure we got the proper people on the floor. We do, but why the hell Jeremy Grant is hurt? I'm so confused. What what is going on with him? I I don't know. Okay, so on the floor, it's a lot going on right now. I'm sorry. We have Mark PJ. We may have to go. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. Okay, so we got the ball. How many timeouts do we have left? We have two timeouts. They have one. Okay, come on. Ubre, you got to step up, brother. Good move, Kelly. Good move, Kelly. Good move, Kelly. Good move, Kelly. Not only has Kelly got to step up offensively because we have nobody else out here, he has to step up defensively because he's guarding uh, Anthony Edwards. Stay solid, Mike Conley. Stay solid. Stay solid. We'll take that possession. Io will take that possession. They want Ubre to have it. Gordon Hayward, money. Good board. Yes, sir. Good board, Mark. Rudy had to go out there with Gordon Hayward. That's how you offensive rebound. Good screen. This is what happened when you set good screens, PJ Washington. Now Rudy has to show and get a hand up on that. So now the paint is vulnerable, and you go and you crash it because Seth Curry can't box you out. Come on. Now they got it in the hands. Oh, shit. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stay solid. Stay solid. That's probably a bucket. It's probably a bucket. Don't foul him, Mark Williams. You got five. Do not foul him. Do not foul him. Do not foul him. Oh, man. Oh. PJ. PJ Washington. Good fucking move, boy. Good move. He did that in real life against somebody, too. This is not this year. A year ago, Anthony Edwards had a similar play like this where he tried to jump the passing lane when he didn't have to. When was that? But before this, he threw it. He was almost had it. That should have been a steal, actually, if I'm being real. 
And now Jaden McDaniels had to come up. Why is he not wearing number three? Beats the hell out of me. He's wearing 23 now. And then P.J. Washington, big time dunk. I actually should have put a sorry in right here for defensive purposes. But I was too thirsty. I forgot. So here we go. Conley, stay back. Stay back. Kyle Anderson is taking the shot for them. And we can't keep Rudy off the glass. And Anthony Edwards passes it. I'll live with it, man. I'll live with it. Good way to pull out this win. We have to figure out why LaMelo is flash, Kelly. We got to figure out why LaMelo keep fouling out. Because this is why we getting our ass kicks, kissed. Our ass kicked. <laughs> this is why we getting our ass kicked in the fourth quarter. Our best player is dealing with foul troubles. We remain undefeated. Anthony Edwards continue to pass up shots. We'll live with it. We'll take it. We get out of Minnesota escaping. Gordon Hayward, good way to step up, vet. I love a vet that steps up. I love a vet that steps up. You have to be shitting me. We rocking, we rolling. We're eight and zero. Oh. We're almost through the first three weeks of the season, and I'm not making it up. Y'all see me? I haven't touched any setting. I haven't adjusted anything. These are the same sliders, the same simulation sliders we was losing on a year ago. We're rocking and we rolling, and Jeremy Grant has knee tendonitis. This may be the end of the episode because what? What? Knee tendonitis, Jeremy? Tracy McGrady played through that shit his, almost his whole fucking career. No. And did I do CPU adjust? Oh, man, I fucked up. I did not want them to do that. I had an entire rotation built out. Oh, man, 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 man. King's about to be tough without Jeremy Grant, bro. I'm already knowing. Y'all, they losing games. But damn, man. Where we at with it? We at home. We back We back at home. We got the Kings, then the Warriors. They 4-4. Four four. They 4-3, and three, and the Rockets are 5-4. and four. So maybe this ain't that bad of a stretch. He's out for six to eight weeks, though, bro. That's like two months. That is crazy. From knee tendonitis, knee tendonitis ain't nothing slight or nothing to be taken little. But damn, six to eight weeks? If we lose... If we lose this game, that's going to be the end of the episode because uh, fight back. I jump, I'm going to jump in. Six-point game. I should have jumped in. We was down eight in the third. So we got good news. Jumping into this King game, LaMelo is not fouled out. 26-5-7-5. and 7-20. JT Thor, I ain't done shit in his minutes. And, yeah, I mean, that's just how we rocking and rolling right now. And on the opposite side, Sabonis is destroying us. Monk is doing his thing. And Fox is having the same type of game as LaMelo, I guess. We got to come out here. We got to get stops. We have to get stops first and foremost. Guard that man, please. De'Aaron Fox fouled. Is De'Aaron Fox fouled out? Let's make sure De'Aaron Fox, because Malik Monk is fouled out. Sarge is fouled out, and they're not playing De'Aaron Fox. Davion Mitchell is in. I don't know why. Come on, Mark Williams. That's what's killing us, huh? De'Aaron Fox coming to the game now. Why he not in, I don't know. We don't have a set going, but LaMelo's going to get the, to the free throw line. And he missed. He missed. I missed. Holy shit. First loss of the season, man. First loss of the season, it looked like. We need some heroic shit to pop off. Oh, that was a pass. You should have got LaMelo. 
damn, De'Aaron Fox got that quick first step Hall of Fame. Come on, guard up, 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 Kelly, guard up. You there, LaMelo, board up, we gone. Push, 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 play with pace, play with pace. Gordon Hayward, that's a big three. Big three, Gordon Hayward. We down four. We down four. Foul. 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 I'm holding it down. Foul. He's swiping at the fucking ball. Foul. He's going to make him. Wrong guy. Wrong guy to foul, but shit. He, mi he missed. Push, 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 push. You got to be shitting me, Melo. Godly. Good win, Sacramento. First first loss of the season to the Sacramento Kings. We miss Jeremy Grant, man. We miss Jeremy Grant. It's going to be it's going to be tough. I'm glad we got off to as, as hot of a stretch as we did. But I'm not going to lie. The power forward position is not a position we strong in. It's not a position we strong in. Simcast, I'm going to try this one against the Warriors while we at home too. Um Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Build the lead. Come on. Make up for the loss. We down in the fourth quarter, four to three. I'm watching this fourth quarter. We're winning it. They just, they're winning it by five, and now it's a tie game. We back. We back up. In order to win the game, we have to win the fourth. We have to. It's 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 Lamelo twenty uh, thirty eight they're thirty two and eight, two steals. Did he foul out? No, he's getting better with his fouls. We got nobody fouling out. There y'all boy Asar Asar come to say it today twenty eight five and three no turnovers eleven of thirteen from the field four five from three. You can't make this up, man. We just had we have one of those teams right now where guys are stepping up. Like I said in the intro, in the interview. Guys are stepping up. Next man up mentality. Kelly Oubre is not making shots. You know what he does? He rebounds. Go get 10 rebounds. He has more rebounds than Nick Richards uh, and P.J. Washington combined. P.J. Washington is, is definitely right here. It's no longer Gordon Hayward. It's P.J. Washington. Can't be traded. Okay, well, we'll we're going we're gonna to trade him. Gary Trent, you off there. One loss, man. One loss. One loss. Come on, let's do another one. Let's do one more. This will be our last one. Come on, do not lose to this young-ass team. Come on, Melo. Come on, Melo. Lead us. Lead us. Lead us. Fight back. Ten-point game. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. Boom. LaMelo, 27-7-5. If he's fouled out, I I'm going to be pissed. Okay, two fouls. Dylan Brooks, 17. Oubre, 13. 10. Dine is 7. 9. 1. 1. Asar struggling. Hayward struggling. And on the other side, Shingoon is killing us. Shingoon is killing us. Uh, Jabari, Josh Christopher. So Jalen Green is struggling. He's only took six shots. But he's doing a little bit of everything. And Miles Bridges is playing against us. Is Miles Bridges in the game? Yes, he is. Miles Bridges think he's going to get his revenge. He said, they ain't hold me down when I was going through my situation. You damn right, man. You off our squad. Watch out. Who is this? Bryce Sensabar? Okay. Come on. Come on. We got a lot of time. We lead. We second in the NBA in rebounds per games. We know that. Come here, Mark Williams. Put Jalen Green in a situation where he has to defend. And Shingun, get us to that line. And one. Let's go, Melo. 29-7-5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They take out whoever. Sensen Ball and uh Jay Sean Tate. Make that mellow. Come on. Seven point game. Timeout Rockets. Seven point game. Timeout Rockets. We here. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, Mark Williams. You're gonna have to thug it out. I know you're a little tired. 73, but you gotta thug it out. Come on. Come on. Dylan Brooks, irritate Jalen Green. Dylan Brooks, irritate Jalen Green. Yup, play tight on him. 
Oh, that's a nasty first step. Whoo! That young man got a nasty first step. Nasty. Dunk on his ass, yup. Come on. One thing I'm not afraid of with the Rockets is them stopping us. But we definitely got to get some stops on them. Jalen Green and Shingun is a little bit of a handful. Especially if they picking up pick. Oh, shit. We living with that. We living with that for now. Good tip in Dylan Brooks. That's why we we top we top two in rebounding. We top two in rebounding. They got Tari Eason bringing up the ball. We love Tari Eason. I wish Tari Eason was on our team. Come on. The one thing the Rockets will do is give you a game. That's, they'll give you a game. They'll give you a game. We know Shingun can make that shot, but we are not. We we more confident in him taking that shot than Jalen Green getting a head full of steam headed to the basket and putting somebody on a poster or going to that line. So we got to choose. We'll give him this. Now, this is what we don't want, him out here dribbling and making plays. There you go, Dylan Brooks. Stay, stay solid, Mark Williams. Stay solid. You out there, Gordon Hayward. Look at Miles Bridges. He used to these rims. He like, I know these rims. All right, seven-point game. We just got to keep scoring. Dylan Brooks. Ah. Shit. Melo can take on that challenge. There you go. Come on. Fight. Fight, Brooks. Fight. Fight, LaMelo. Get through the screen. Oh, hell no, Tari Eason. Board up. Board up. Gordon Hayward, what you doing? Good shit, Mark Williams. Gordon Hayward, what are you doing? You scared of him or something? Good move, Gordon Hayward. You going to dunk on him? That look like uh, that look like Butler Gordon Hayward with that rise. Only four points tonight. Make it five, man. Come on. We right here, team. We right here. Under two minutes to go, we got to get some stops. We have to get stops. We cannot be giving up jump shots like that. They down there. They last time out, too. They trying to stop this little run we going on. They trying to stop this run we going on. Defensive emphasis. We want to protect the perimeter. We want to crash the glass. And we want to give up. No, we want to shrink the floor. Because I don't want Jalen Green driving. I do not want Jalen Green driving to this basket. Or Kevin Porter Jr. Come on. Fight through Dylan Brooks. Y'all be that irritant. Come on, Miles. Come on, Miles. Try to win it for your team. Do something crazy. Take a shot, Tyre Eason. Do what you just did. Take a Clay Thompson three. Fight through Kelly. Fight through Kelly. We switch now. We switch now. Good D. Gordon Hayward. Push LaMelo. Push. Stop. Ah. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Oubre, what you got for me? Good cut, Mello. Good cut, Mello. Good cut, Mello. Good cut, Mello. Pick him up early, Dylan. Early. Come on. Fight through, Mello. Do not let them trick you. Good team, Mark Williams. Three point game under a minute. Under a minute. I had to turn on the game volume. I forgot. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Y'all been asking for it, but here's the crowd environment in this last minute. Let y'all hear this. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Mello too strong for him. Mello too strong for him. He's a little boy. Mello too strong for him. Come on. We got the crowd going. One point game. We rocking. We rolling. Fight, Mello. Fight. Fight, Mello. Fight. Fight, Mello. Fight. Good fight, Mello. Get the board, Mello. Let's go. Walk it up, Mello. This is your shit. This is your shit. Everybody standing up. This is your shit, Mello. Come on. Where you going, Miles? Let's go, Mello. Let's go. Should have been an A1. What a foul that ref. LaMelo ball. Take it over. That's, tell him, Dylan Brooks. Let's go. Stand up. Can't hear y'all. It's hard shit. One stop. 
Dylan Brooks, you on Jalen Green like, like white on rice, bro. That's your, that's your only assignment. You on Jalen Green, bro. Here's Shangun. Green with the ball. Oh, yeah, he about to take a bad shot. LaMelo Ball, MVP performance. I don't want to hear it. LaMelo Ball took over that fourth quarter. Yeah, we got our stops, but LaMelo Ball was unstoppable. That, that's the type of win I'm talking about, and I had to let y'all hear the crowd. Had to let y'all hear the crowd. Had to. That's my bad. I should do that in every game. A lot of y'all been asking for it. Damn right, LaMelo played the game. 36, 8, and 5, zero turnovers again. 5 11 from 3. Dylan Brooks, good defense on Jalen Green. He didn't even get the last shot up. Let's go. 11 points. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. We them dudes. 10 and 1, 73 chemistry, and that profit down to negative 5.7. It came in at 7.5 when we started the episode. 10 and 1. Best team in the NBA by far, unless the Pacers are still undefeated. They're not. They're six and three. Thank you, thank you, Lamelo Ball MVP. Can we? Uh, is a war? When are war races coming up? We want to see the war races. League leaders. Lamelo Lamelo came up. Lamelo is now t top fifteen in scoring. He was top twenty, top fifteen. Assist. Where you at, Lamelo? Where you at? He dropped a little bit. He top ten. That's fine. Still, look at that field goal percentage. Damn, for the guards. Let's just do guards. Top three. Chris Paul dropped significantly. 50. The three-point shit. I was about to say you dropped. That's the Aaron Fox. 50, 40, and we got to get that free throw up to 90. LaMelo Ball, MVP. I'm closing out the episode like that, too, by the way. We won. Next episode, we going up. We trying to get through this two-month stretch without Jeremy Grant. 10 and 1. You cannot make this up. Hottest team rolling, man. Hottest team rolling. The best story in the NBA. I will see y'all in the next episode. For, as always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace. Let's go Hornets, man. Buzz the fuck.